Burn up and burn down charts are easy to make in Excel. Now, if you're familiar with Agile project management, then you'll know that these charts are useful for monitoring the progress of a project against expectations. Now, while the terminology is specific to Agile project management, the concept is relevant to managing any project and it can be applied to measures of time, a number of tasks, costs, etc. Let's take a look. A burn down chart tracks the total expected effort. Think tasks, milestones, time, costs, that type of thing, versus the actual effort over time. For example, let's say we have 60 hours of effort to complete 10 tasks in a 10 workday period. If we work at a steady pace, we do 6 hours per workday. It's called a burn down chart because it starts with the total effort available and over time that amount reduces until all effort is used up. In this chart, the expected effort is the ideal burn down line and the actual effort is the remaining effort line. Now, if the remaining effort line is above the ideal burn down line, the project is falling behind. Conversely, if the remaining effort line is below the ideal burn down line, the project is ahead. In this example, the team are initially behind, but by day four, they pulled ahead only to fall behind again on day six. However, they managed to finish in line with expectations. Now this isn't always the case and these charts are used to enable the team to adjust their original targets and communicate with stakeholders early on of any changes to the original plan. For example, in this chart, we can see that after three days of work, the average hours is closer to four hours per day instead of six. And if we extrapolate that out, the project will take 15 days to complete rather than the planned 10. Now at this point, we can either add resources to bring the project back in line with the time deadline but at an increased cost. We can reduce the scope of the project to bring it in on time and budget, or accept it will just take longer and cost more. Let's take a look at how to build a burn down chart in Excel. In this table, we've got 10 tasks and in column C, we have the estimated hours each task will take. And as each day passes, the actual hours of work completed are entered in columns D through M. Now row 15 contains the remaining effort. And column C is simply the sum of the estimated hours, which is 60. That is the total hours we have available to complete these 10 tasks. Each day, the cumulative hours of work completed are subtracted from the total estimated hours to show how many hours are remaining. So the formula in this cell is equals our total remaining effort, F4 to absolute, minus the sum of day one's time, and I'm just going to close parentheses. I'm going to absolute the first reference, F4, and press enter. And then I simply copy that across until we get to the end where we have zero hours left. So in this case, our project has come in in line with our planned effort. Now the ideal burn down is simply the total estimated hours spread evenly across the time. The formula is equals our total time F4 to absolute minus our total time F4 to absolute divided by 10 because we have 10 days times the count of the days we've completed so far. So I'm just going to absolute the first reference F4 and leave the second one relative so that as I copy it across, it's going to count up by one day at a time. Press enter there. It's copied the format from above. So let's just copy this format across and I'm going to copy it. And now I can create a chart that plots these two lines. Now that you can either use a scatter chart or a line chart. I'm just going to go with the line chart with markers. Let's make it a bit bigger and I'll move it down below the table. I'll right click and edit the axis reference so that it's picking up this data here. Click OK and OK give the chart a title. Obviously you'll give it a title that represents the project that it's plotting. I'm also going to move the legend to the top and that's just going to give the whole chart a bit more space. So I'll move the title over there and the legend up there. And now I can make the plot area a bit bigger. So there you have a burn down chart. The burn down with forecast is the same, except we have an additional series for the forecast values. Here you can see we're only three days into the actual project work. And based on those three days, we can forecast how long it will take to complete the tasks at the current rate. The formula for the forecast is the estimated effort absolute 
minus the sum of the time taken so far. And I'm just going to absolute that, close parentheses, divided by three, because there's three days, times the count of days so far. So I'm just going to count the dates up to column G, because that's the current position, and F4 to absolute the first reference in count, close parentheses. That way when I copy it across, this count is going to increment by one column at a time. And again, it's picked up the formatting because I've referenced a date. Let's fix that and left click and drag to copy it across. So now I have this forecast series. I'm just going to copy it, select the chart, control V to paste, and we can see the forecast. Let's control one to open the formatting pane. I'll just drag the formatting pane over here and we'll go in and instead of using orange, we're just going to continue the blue, but in a paler shade and we'll give it a dashed line. We also need to fix the marker. So let's go in and we'll just select none. So that's just a dashed line and that just helps to illustrate that it's an estimate, not an actual. Burn up charts plot the ideal effort at a constant rate and display the cumulative actual effort over time. Their purpose is the same, that is to identify if a project is off track and unlikely to meet its goals. Under Agile Project Management, burn-up charts typically quantify progress in points rather than time, hence the terminology here in the chart. However, if you're not bound by Agile, you can use them for costs, hours, milestones, etc. Let's take a look at how to build burn-up charts in Excel. You can use the same table for burn-up charts as you do for burn-down charts. Here, the cumulative effort in cell D15 is simply the sum of day one. And I'm going to F4 to absolute the first cell reference. That way, when I copy it across, it's going to increment by one column at a time. Now, the ideal effort is typically steady for the duration of the project. So you can simply reference the previous cell and copy it across. However, if the scope changes part way, you can override the formula. So here, for example, I might want to increase to 80. And by showing this step in the ideal effort helps illustrate and explain to your stakeholders that there was a decision making change made at that point in time. Burn up charts also use line or scatter charts. However, I don't want this first value. So I want the labels and then the cumulative balances. And then we're going to insert either a line or a scatter chart. And just like we did with the burn down chart, I'm going to go in and fix the axis labels so they pick up the dates. I can also move my legend to the top. I prefer it at the top and then I can move it out of the way. And we'll give the chart a title over here. Burn up chart. And just like with burn down charts, you can forecast a few days into the work to see if you're on target and make changes accordingly. I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.